and I'm Stephen Sater, and I'm with Duck and Cheek. I'm really honored to be here to um, commemorate these historic anniversaries. Um, doubly honored to be here in such distinguished company of artists and um, the ex with the extraordinary cast of Spring Awakening and um, Deaf West Theater. To be here under the tenure of a president who not only celebrates diversity and inclusion, but so often recognizes the power of the arts to promote peace and cultural understanding. In 1892, a brilliant, angry young man named Frank Vedekin first wrote, first penned a play titled Spring Awakening. All these years later, it remains the most scabrous indictment ever written of adulthood, <laughs> of teachers, of clergymen, and of parents who will not listen to what is going on in the hearts of our children. In 1999, in the wake of the terrible shootings at Columbine, this message seemed urgent. So Duncan and I united and set out to create a musical version of the same material, determined to touch the troubled heart of youth around the world. The original play is so full of the unheard cries of young people. And it seemed that the place where young people of our era for generations have found articulation of and release from these same cries was music, pop music, rock music. So the scenes in our story are set still in 1890s Germany, a time when boys and girls are not allowed to attend, attend the same school, not allowed to be seen together, not allowed to sit together in the same row of a theater. But when our young characters break into song, their voices become contemporary. Their music is contemporary. Because in fact, that time is not so long ago that it's a time of first love, of friendship, of the pressures of school and the first whiff of sex. Um, so the opening song of our show, which was also the first song Duncan and I wrote for the show, um, we meet a young girl who is just hearing the word of her body and wants more than anything to know how babies are made. So I'll give you Mama the Born. Queen. 
Queen. But you are already in bloom. Yes. You made me forget all our good news. Now just imagine, Fedla, last night the stork finally visited your sister, brought her another little baby girl. I can't wait to see her, Mama. Well, put on a proper dress and wear a hat. Mama, don't be cross. Don't be. But I'm an aunt for the second time now, and I still have no idea how it happens. Mama, please! I'm ashamed to even ask. But then who can I ask? But you. Vendla, child, you cannot imagine that but I could- You cannot imagine I still believe in the stork. I honestly don't know what I have done to deserve this kind of talk! And on a day like today! Go! Child, put your clothes on! And if I run out now and ask Gregor, our chimney sweep? <laughs> Very well. I'll tell you everything. But not today, tomorrow, or the day after. Today! Vendla Bergman! I simply cannot. Mama. You will drive me mad! Why? I'll kneel at your feet. Lay my head in your lap. You can talk as if I weren't even here. Please? Very well, I'll tell you. Yes? Child! Okay. Mom. In order for a woman to conceive a child. You follow me? Yes, Mama. For a woman to bear, bear a child, she must, in her own personal way, she must. Love her husband. <laughs> love him as she can love only him. Only him. <laughs> she must love with her whole... <laughs> Heart. There, now you know everything. Everything? Everything. So help me. Mama! Mama who bore me. Mama who gave me. Mama the angels. Who made me so sad. Mama who bore me. Mama who gave me. No way to handle things. Who made me so sad.
feel much better talking if I have one of these in front of me. Um, so I, I'd just like to thank uh, Roy and Valerie for, uh, and the whole panel for speaking so eloquently. Um, and, and thank the White House for inviting us here. This is kind of amazing. Uh, I realized this morning the last time I was at the White House, um, it was 1982, so it was a much less cool administration. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we took, uh, we took the overnight Amtrak train from Savannah, Georgia uh, to, to Washington, D.C. And um, that, was the, that was the night I had my first French kiss. Uh, or, or first successful French kiss. Um, anyway, uh, so, so the, the song I'm going to do, or I'm going to, these guys are going to do, and I'm, I'll play along, uh, is, it, you know, when I, when I hear the song every night when I go to the theater, it kind of brings me back to this place of 1982 and my first French kiss, um, and it's called Touch Me. 